a retrospect. If you look at this map, you have smallpox, measles, and botanic plague, and whatnot. And if you look at the arrows going from one continent and country to another, it is all on the trade routes because the only people who were traveling in the past were traders, merchants. So essentially, I would put it as people who are traveling were more susceptible to the diseases and they are spreading the diseases in a similar fashion along with them. So trade happens and the spread of diseases is also happening. In a similar context, we have um, a spread of syphilis across the world in different uh, time frames uh, uh, quoted in the 90, 1493, 95, 1498 in India, and 1505 in Japan. So obviously these, uh, these dates are kind of straddled because the transport mechanism was as not as much efficient. But nonetheless, what I would like to emphasize in here is, if you look at from a high level, this is similar to what the COVID has done. It has traveled from one part of the world to another part of the world by not traders, but along with the traders, people who travel a lot, a lot between the countries uh, on business, on pleasure, because this is a globalized economy. So a globalized economy has exposed everybody to every kind of disease. It doesn't matter where it has originated. It will be there everywhere in no time, if unless it is mitigated, controlled.